Hi guys and welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. It is time to head into Larry's place. Looks like this is Larry's place. Head inside and see if he's home. Yes. So are you going to greet me or just stare at that fish tank all day long? Sorry, I got lost for a second. I'm really glad to see you, Annelise. Starting to think you might not make it. Well, I'm here now. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Things are fine. Nothing you need to worry about. If you say so. Look, why don't we order in some breakfast? You can decompress and tell me all about why you still don't have that damned book yet. You like pancakes? Pancakes? Yeah, I could eat some pancakes. Alright, pancake apalooza. You're going to love these, best in town. Damn, those pancakes do smell good. Told you so. Starting to think two orders might have been a bit too much though. So, do you do this often? Do what? Order breakfast instead of just cooking. Seems like it might get a bit expensive. Well, between the overdrawn, the overdrawn savings account and a couple maxed out credit cards, Belinda and I are already nearing six figures on the ground. The way I see it, we're headed towards bankruptcy in a few months anyway. A few more pancakes in the ledger aren't going to be our undoing. That does not sound like a sound financial strategy. Oh, I know. Trust me. I know. There's nothing I can do about it, though. Since her mum died, Belinda spent nearly every day and every penny at the mall. At first, I didn't have the heart to tell her we can't afford the shopping sprees, but by the time I got the balls to say something, we were broke. You should have seen her face when I suggested she get a job to start paying off some of the bills. Larry, that's insane. Have you considered divorcing her? So I can lose half to her in the courts and another half of that in lawyer fees? No thanks. Plus, I couldn't do that to her. For better or for worse, right? Shit, I'm sorry. Don't be. It's my fault, really. When I got that job last year, I thought everything was going to be easier. Did you know two of the other guys in my department made over a million bucks each just in royalties? It's pretty easy to fool yourself when you're around successful people on a day-to-day -day basis. I got it in my head that I'd already made it and sold her on the idea that we aren't just middle-class nobodies anymore. It takes a lot longer to climb that ladder, though. It's going to be fine, though, right? I've got a few new prospects, and you're here. That's something, I guess. Yeah, you mentioned a job for me here? Well, it's not exactly what you're used to. Later that day. Alright, so it's this job. Shit, Larry. Are you trying to get fired? Here I am, crawling to my parents on my hands and knees for a little extra cash to keep us afloat, and you're lounging around eating pancakes? Is that who I think it is? You've got a lot of nerve coming around here after the shit you pulled, Annelise. Hey, calm down, would you? She's here to make good on things, right? Uh, yeah. We're trying to steer the ship back in course, get life moving in the right direction again. Oh, that's fine and dandy, but weren't you supposed to be having a meeting this morning? Shit, I forgot. I can see that. So what the hell is she doing here anyway? We were, uh... I was just leaving. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you're not going anywhere. Back off, alright, Belinda? You know what? Whatever. I give up. Great to see you again, Annelise. Really damn good to see you. You better get your ass to work before they finally fire you for real this time, Larry. Actually, you're right. I should get going. Annelise, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I'll tell you all about that job then, right? You can stay here. Sleep on the couch. You've got to be kidding me. Larry, I was going to go shopping in a bit. You can't just leave strangers in my home. Take a breath, you. I don't care. You two can discuss handbags or whatever. Either way, Anley stays. I pay the rent, so it's my call. Besides, you two would probably get along wonderfully. You both make my life a living nightmare. Fine, you can tag along, Annelise. Better than leaving you here to steal shit. Perfect. Like one big happy family. Now if you'll excuse me...
I'm sorry you had to see all that. Look, I've got nothing against you. Larry and I are just in the middle of a thing. Apparently. Look, I said I was sorry. Let's just forget about it and go to the mall. There's a two for one special at the salon. You look like you could use some pampering. Sure that's a good idea? Well, you're either coming with me or you're out for the day because I'm not abandoning my home with a stranger in it. Larry's friend or not. Come on, it'll be fun. Who knows, maybe we'll become best friends. You know what? Let's go. Might as well, right? That's what I wanted to hear. The rental car's downstairs. Hello, can I get some service, please? Hello? Sorry for the wait, miss. How can I help you? That's a little better. You're in the service industry, for God's sake. Show a little dignity in your work, why don't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. What can I do for you two? We're here for the special. I'm sorry, ma'am. Which special? Don't play dumb with me, Chiquita. The one you advertised. Hair care. Two for one. I wanted to treat my friend here to a relaxing scalp massage while I got my hair cut. Substitutions are acceptable, right? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't know what you're talking about. We aren't running any promotions right now. Do you have the flyer with you? No, I didn't bring the flyer with me. Can I speak to your manager? Where's Rudol Rudolfo? He's on lunch right now. Well then, he's getting a mouthful about your poor treatment of his customers when he returns. I suppose if you want, we can get your treatment started now and you can talk to him when he gets back from his break. You came here to relax, there's no sense getting all riled up over a simple misunderstanding. Please come back here and we can get to work. A haircut for yourself and a scalp massage for your friend over here? That's more like the service I was expecting. Come on, Annelise, you're going to love this. Anywhere you like, ma'am. You can take a seat next to your friend. Ah, oh, thank you. Please, your seat awaits. Okay, come on. Am I sitting? No, not yet. I suppose I should take a seat. Sit down. So, a scalp massage? You're going to love it. Super relaxing. Now, if only I could figure out what to do with my hair, we'd be perfect. A haircut, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Something different. I've been feeling so down lately. I need something to shake things up. You know what I mean? What do you think? Well, why not... Change colours. Now we're thinking outside the box. I knew I brought you for a reason. What colour do you think would look best? Why don't you try... Why don't you try brunette? Maybe I could go a little earthier. Maybe then I seem a little calmer. Sounds great. Ladies, we're ready for you. So what you want us to do? You want, like, a trim or what? Put those scissors away. We're going to cut it. I think we're going to go brunette. A nice earthy tone that's really grounded. You sure about that, ma'am? That's a pretty big change for you. Yes, of course I'm sure. What kind of idiot do you think I am? You better do a get... <laughs> Getting my words confused. You better do a damn good job if you want a tip. And don't question my decisions again, alright? Of course, ma'am. We always do our best for you. We're just going to swivel your chair around and get started on you right away. And what about you, ma'am? Which of these, which of the oils did you want me to use for your scalp massage? We've got lavender, peppermint, or rosemary. I can also give it to you with just water. I'll take it with rosemary, I guess. I don't know the difference. Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just going to spin your chair around and get you started. Please try and relax. So what do you think? Isn't this the best? I could just stay here all day long. How does it feel? I'm in heaven. Louisa, don't stop. See, I told you she was good. So... We'll just relax. I don't think there's much point in small talking her. Or maybe, I don't know. So I uh, hear any good music lately? You know, this is really nice. Thanks for bringing me, Belinda. Yeah, whatever. Excuse me for being polite. Look, if you wanted to have a conversation with me, you didn't have to come up with some bullshit small talk to make it happen. You don't need to come up with some contrived talk points just because you think we need to say something to one another. See, that's what I was thinking. Well, I need to bite my head off. I'm sorry. Next time I won't say anything at all, I guess. 
No, it's not that. You don't get it, do you? I just don't appreciate being fed useless chit chat when I know for a fact you don't talk to Lara with the same mindlessness. That's understandable. Is it too much to ask for a decent conversation? Do you really dislike me that much? Well, to be honest, I don't really know you. This is the first time I've ever spent more than like an hour in the same room together. You can't expect me to have anything to say when you've never taken the time to get to know me. What are you supposed to say to a stranger? I guess you're right. It's not fair of me to expect you to know what to say to me when I know just as little about you. Shh. You two talk too much. Just close your eyes and relax. I shall take a drink while there's a break here. Okay, not much of a break. Well, you're back with us. You fell asleep for a minute there. Oh, my head feels amazing. And everything still smells like rosemary. So, what do you think? Is it going to look alright? There's only one way to find out. Please tell me it looks okay, otherwise you'll hate me on this. Is that Rodolfo? Rodolfo, darling, come here. We're going. We're about to unveil my new hairdo. Ah, my favourite customer. Coming. Well, the suspense is killing me. Let's see how it looks. Well, here goes nothing. Well, what do you think? I can't even look at it. Oh god, it looks terrible. No, it doesn't. This is all your fault, Annelise. Why the hell did I listen to you? Ugh, oh, I should have known better than to take style advice from a goddamn dyke. Excuse me? A million and a half useless things to say to me, but not one word of advice in this awful haircut. Oh, this is so embarrassing. This brown is so drab and plain. It's not that bad, really. Shut up, Annelise. This is all your goddamn fault. Rodolfo, you've got to fire that bitch. First she wouldn't give me the promotion you were advertising and then she's completely ruined my hair. No le haga caso a esa pendeja, lady exactment lo que quiera. I can't speak other languages. <laughs> what is my number one rule? The customer's right, always. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hunter. We'll do what we can for you, but we still have to charge you for the services you received. Fix up will be no extra charge, of course. That's not even my name, you idiot. I've been coming here for years and you're still calling me by my husband's name. I kept my own name, my mother's name. What the hell is wrong with you people? This is no way to treat a loyal customer. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, darling, don't cry. It's only here. It grows back. I don't know what to say. That's the name of her credit card, so I just sort of assumed it was hers. In fact, I could get a lot in a lot of trouble now that I know that it's her husband's credit card. I'm going to have to find another way to pay. I'm not going to jail for fraud over this. She's been under a lot of stress lately. Things aren't going too well for finances right now. I think she could use a break. I understand, but what do you want me to do? I'm a stylist, not an accountant. I guess you can let me pay for everything. Oh, Well, that certainly simplifies things. It's good to see friends taking care of each other. Go tell your friend she can have a seat and we'll be right with her in a moment once you pay. This better not be, like, really expensive. Hope you enjoyed that. Hey, relax for a second, alright? What, you're going to try and convince me this wasn't a horrible mistake? Tell me that it doesn't look that bad? Well, first off, it's not that bad. You're completely overreacting. Secondly, I'm going to pay for it. Wait, what? You're a credit card. Rodolfo says you can't use it, so I'm going to take the bill on this one. Once he's paid, he's going to fix it up for you. Then we can go home, alright? You're going to pay for me? Aren't you broke? <laughs> Look who's talking. She's going over to the, pill, the till to pay. You just pop in that chair and he's going to fix it as best as he can. Then we get out of here, okay? Deal. Thank you, Annelise. This really means a lot. Larry would kill me if he found out I was still using his credit card, so I really do appreciate it. Don't mention it. Now let's get your hair back to normal and get out of here. Alright, she's ready for you. Here's your money. Do a good job, alright? 75, so that's not too bad. Only the best for my favourite customer. Right. I didn't really get the chance to look around to see if there was an indie heroes figure there. Hey, thanks again for helping me. Didn't mean to lose my cool or anything, it just sort of happened and I'm sorry you saw it. I guess you can only keep banjoing your problems. Scalp massages and new clothes for so long before it all comes back to you and you crack. 
At least Larry didn't have to find out about it. Honestly, I'd never hear the end of it. We can keep this between us, right? Yeah, sure. My lips are sealed. Thank you, Annelise. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'm going to go take a walk to see if anyone notices my hair. Hopefully Rizolfo did a good job. So we can look around Larry's apartment now. Maybe go out a walk, see what's happening in the town at night. Maybe. We'll look around. Uh, stay awake just now. Good. Oh, the patio. Oh, memories. Still got the cat too. It's a nice little patio actually. Hey, kitty. Mm, nothing really out here to look at. Home version of Crime Fighters? Eh, yeah, maybe later. You found Indie Heroes figure 51. Awesome. The fish tank is empty. That's a bit sad. Why have a fish tank with no fish? It's weird creeping around their bed, so let's not do that. But I'm going to wrap up this part here. It's a smaller part than usual and I apologise about that. But I shall make tomorrow's part longer, I think. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I love you all. Bye.